Hey guys, Brian Robinson here from Stop It Goaltending. Today we're going to be going over different post integration methods. Uh, mainly we're going to get started with the reverse VH. So guys, the reverse VH stands for reverse vertical horizontal. And that has to do with how your pads are positioned. So in the reverse VH, go ahead, lean into your post. So it stands for vertical horizontal. You got one pad that is horizontal. And it's not exactly perfect, but this one is actually going to be the vertical pad where, you know, depending on your comfort level or the size of your legs, it's almost at a 30, maybe 45 degree angle. So the reverse VH can be a great tool to be used on low dead angle attacks. For me, a dead angle can be anywhere from that far post to the far hash, all the way from that far post to the bottom of the face-off circle. Really all depends on your size, your ability, your comfort level. You're seeing guys like Tuka Rask these days holding their feet a lot more. They're just not resorting to it when it's in a zone where they could use it. They're using it when they should use it, meaning they're reading the play a lot better. Now, we're looking here. Lean away for a second for me. So right now, he's going skate blade on post. Uh, you saw last year in the playoffs, quite a few bad goals given up from here. As you can see, lean into the post for me. So you can actually see here, I could actually fit my entire glove through this hole there from him going skate blade on post. We've discussed this, he will not use this technique. But just because it doesn't work for him, doesn't mean it can't work for you. Obviously, he's a big guy, I'm only about five foot 10, you can see he looks pretty small right now. And the reason is when you're skate blade on post, your hips are the furthest away from the post. So that means the gap is that much bigger, you have to lean that much more to seal the post, therefore it makes you a little bit smaller. Uh, one of the best reasons, or one of the main reasons goaltenders tend to prefer this is mobility. Kicking off the post with your skate blade almost feels as natural as planting and pushing in the ice, which is why some goalies prefer it. So guys, the next integration method that I tend to prefer in most situations is the toe lock. So the toe lock is that spot right here, right where your toe ties or toe hooks or whatever you're using these days attached to your skate. It may not look like a big difference. Go ahead and lean into the post for me. You can see here, get your chest up for me. He's a little bit taller. He doesn't have to lean as much. The holes that were there before, remember I could put my glove in when he was skate blade, there's nothing there. He can make simple adjustments. Typically I like to lock the thumb on top of the pad if it's more of a shot coming from a stick length away. Chance for elevation. In tight wraparound, I tend to prefer the paddle down. Paddle down here. So with the paddle down here, you get better coverage on the ice and you can actually extend take that pass away, or almost poke check the guy and blow up the plate before he even gets a chance. Uh, toe lock, similar to the skate blade, pretty good mobility. You can push off the post pretty easily. So guys, now we're looking at using the boot break integration method where we try to get this spot right here on your pad, which is basically right above your skate laces, up against the post. Again, now that gap is even smaller for to lean into the post. It's a lot easier and you can see his head is well above the crossbar now, he's a little bit bigger. His mobility, the confidence level of it from here is not the greatest. Now this being said, lean away for me, this is how I prefer most goalies if you're late on a wraparound going post to post, try to get your boot there. Mainly because most wraparounds aren't going to beat you right inside the post, they're going to go more towards the far side or middle of the goal line and that boot can actually catch a puck and knock it off the goal line. If you're going skate blade on post and leading there, that's where you see a lot of pucks banking off the skate and end up in the net and some of those shots are pucks that wouldn't even go in the net in the first place. Alright guys, so now we're taking a look at the shin or the knee. So the shin or the knee, a lot of goalies say they can't really move that well. But you watch a guy like Tuka Rask. I know I mentioned him before. So the reason Tuka likes this is because he barely needs to lean. He's sealing the post. He's as big as possible. But again, your mobility might be a little bit lacking. But just because you don't like it at first, doesn't mean you can't improve and get better at it. So if this is your method, go ahead and get better at it. If you like skate blade, if you know there's no holes there, get better at it. And then obviously you have the toe lock position and the boot break position as well. All right, guys, again, this has been Brian Robinson from Stop at Goaltending. If you'd like any further information, please visit our website at stopatgoaltending.com.